I think biomedical informatics is really for people who want to be at the edge, really creative, and love both tech and biology. Biomedical informatics is a rocket ship. If the funding has increased so much over the past couple of years. It's just, it's a place where a lot of exciting ideas and a lot of exciting projects are happening. This field is exciting because it's interdisciplinary. Uh, it, has, it sits at the intersection between computer science, decision science, um, and data science and biomedicine. It's a space where you can um, explore, you know, how some of those um, domains actually work together in, for informatics problems. We want and welcome people from many different backgrounds because it actually just serves to strengthen the work that is done. Training in informatics in a department that really encourages you to have strong foundational um, basics as well as encourages innovation both in the theoretical um, the development of the skills and then also application of the skills, I, I think it's invaluable. Instead of just working in silos in your own domain, the more you interact with some other uh, specialties and the more you collaborate and the bigger impact you can make. So for that, I think DBMI offers us uh, from the computational biology, bioinformatics, to clinical information, to public health informatics, a wide range of specialties that you can go across the board, not only to learn from each other, but also have a holistic view of the system we are dealing with today. And when it comes to solutions, you will have more systematic perspectives. So one of the really great things about a program at Columbia is the long history we have of working with electronic healthcare data. It actually goes back to the late 80s um, when we started collecting diagnosis codes in electronic format. And that long history with this type of data uh, provides a lot of expertise that a lot of departments, other departments may not have. We have such a, a diversity of interest amongst our faculty that that sort of sets us apart. Anything that we want to do within the realm of biomedical informatics, we usually have the expertise in-house. Um, but that also provides students an opportunity in that they can explore almost any aspect of the intersection of healthcare and computation uh, that they would be interested in. They really got me excited. They really showed me what we could do with uh, some of the foundations of public health that were really vital to answering the problems um, of our society and how to use big data to really go about doing that. I feel like when I was given the opportunity to undertake this qualitative project, uh, I was really kind of given free reign to do, to explore and to do what I wanted to do and to try things out and that, that trial and error, that attempt uh, and going back to the whiteboard and, and working through things and brainstorming I really felt like it was a team effort and that I was allowed to kind of drive, but in a safe environment where it was okay if I crashed because there was uh, buffers around. Uh, the faculty are all extremely approachable. If, if you want to talk to a professor who's related to your research, not related to your research, advising you, not advising you, whatever, you, you, you TA for his or her class or, or um, you took her or his class. I've never had a problem talking to a professor in this department, um, either for technical reasons or for personal reasons. The academics are there, the resources are there uh, in terms of like who you can work with, the kind of research they do, and the resources they have to you know, help you do your research. Um, but it's also incredibly important to be working with people you like working with too, that you get along personally, that share um, similar values to you. And I found that um, that to me has become probably the most important part. Our department's founder, Paul Clayton, had a motto which many of our faculty sort of keep in the back of their minds that, uh, you know, we're a department that aims to foster and cultivate within ourselves being um, hardworking, bright, and nice. And so I think that, you know, we create a culture in the department that, uh, that tries to embody those things.
So we have Columbia University Medical Center, we have New York Presbyterian Hospital, and we also have Wild Cornell Medical Center. Through that, we all are now on one electronic health record. Because of that, there are um, great collaborations between the three institutions. In addition, we have access to the data from um, you know, our medical center and the hospital. And um, access to that data is extremely important you know, when you're doing the type of work that we want to do. And in addition to being based in New York City, which is a very diverse place, uh, and having clinical data right here at home, uh, we also have access to uh, the Odyssey Network. Um, it's an international network uh, of a federated data network. Um, and so you have a huge, a large cohort to draw from. In addition to that, there's the All of Us program, which is a national program here in the United States uh, that collects information. And so if I want to study different, you know, if I want to study patients of uh, different backgrounds, different groups, um, I'm able to have the necessary sample size that I need to do the kind of research that I want to do. Columbia is the, the top training program in the country, really, for biomedical informatics. And I think that was solidified for me when I attended my first ANIA conference. Um, and we had the reception where you see that um, of many, many of the people who make up the American Medical Informatics Association are Columbia graduates, particularly from this program. So it really just solidified for me how many people uh, Columbia has trained in this field and how robust their training program is. It's really astounding. Right, and the DPMI network has opened so many doors, partly because if I didn't directly work with somebody at another institution, one of my faculty members or one of my colleagues did. So, you know, in joining the Columbia DBMI family, certainly, you really are joining the ecosystem of informatics. You know, we, we say there's a, a small number of those motherships, and Columbia is one of those. You know, one of the earliest, one of certainly one of the best, um, and it continues to be. I took for granted early on um, how deep the network is um, and how how willing um, everyone from the network is to support other DBMI scholars um, and how we really are, you know, a lot of the leaders in the field um, in many different ways, not just in research, also in the applied work, also um, in health equity work. It really, it really is impressive to me. Not, not only are we sort of, I think DBMI is sort of a pioneer in the field of informatics, um, but then also which are truly um, a giant in continuing to move the field forward. So the insights that I have gained from my interactions with faculties and have not only um, furthered my ability, but I think has also been instrumental in shaping my perspectives. I cannot recommend this program enough to anyone who is interested in the intersection between data science and uh, healthcare and life sciences.